Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today I wanted to cover um, one of the other things that I do enjoy doing, um, which is collecting and playing retro games and, you know, old old video games, Xbox 360, NES. Here's my setup here. I've got Mario, Super Mario Bros. running. Um, this is an old CRT TV that I found at Goodwill. Um, it even has the VHS player, which, you know, the only movie that I have is the GoldenEye. 007 movie, which I found the other day, which is kind of cool, but it's got VHS, pretty cool. Um, uh, we've got my uh, NES here. Uh, I don't even, this is Silkworm. I've never heard of this game in my life, but uh, but I have it, and it's kind of fun. Uh, I've got my stack of games here. Um, it's, a, it's a small collection. I do hope to uh, add to this, but I've got a uh, small selection of games here. I uh, made this makeshift uh, game holder out of the old Nintendo sleeves, literally just some uh, electrical tape around here. Very small amount so it won't like damage the actual original because it is original, uh, but just for something quick until I either build or find another uh, thing to store my games on, but I will I will end up improving on that, but for now I think this looks nice as it is. This TV fits nicely on this desk, and you know, it's it's a lot of fun. I, I do enjoy playing these games. Uh, now moving over here, I guess I've got a GameCube, which uh, I don't have a spot for yet. I don't have, the only game that I have for it is Fire Emblem, Path of Radiance or whatever. Pretty fun game. I just store that in there because I don't have the case for it. Uh, uh, random Nintendo controllers. Got the zapper for for Duck Hunt. And I got a Super Nintendo N64. There's a couple of GameCube controllers in there. But really, uh, you know, just all the controllers. Now moving over to my main uh, stand, my main TV stand here. Um, I apologize for all the cords. I'm going to be building another shelf for that reason, so these cords don't stick out. Um, I really don't want to mess with this one because it's kind of an antique or whatever. I don't know. Uh, I don't want the cords going through the back. I don't want to drill a hole or anything and ruin it, but anyway, uh, let me just go over what I've got in here. So starting off at the top, I've got a Panasonic TV. I forget like what year this came out, but you know I've had it forever. It works great for what I'm doing. Uh, I've got a Wii here, funny story, actually I found this in a dumpster, or sitting next to a dumpster, I wouldn't have taken it if it were inside of a dumpster, but uh, it had all the hookups, even I had a controller, it's in there, it's missing the, missing the back part, so I just have uh, rubber bands holding that on, but it works, works perfectly fine, found a couple nunchucks, um, and even Call of Duty for the Wii was in here, so that was kind of cool, um, and it's the GameCube compatible one, so I can even play this GameCube game if I want to on here. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I've got the Super Nintendo cleaning kit and N64 memory card and PS1 memory card. But yeah, so that's on the top. Uh, I've got the little Wii sensor right there because I like to take this chair and sit right over here. But uh, I've got a Super Nintendo. I'll go over the games in a second, but... Um, I do like the Super Nintendo. It's a it's a pretty fun console. Pretty, uh, pretty fun games as well. Um, got the N sixty four. I did have some problems with this where it would just restart randomly, so I needed to uh, fix that. So I ordered some screwdrivers and I got got that working. It's got the got the jumper pack in there, the rumble pack or whatever it's called. Um, we got Zelda Ocarina of Time. Uh, amazing game, by the way. Pretty cool. Um, got a, an original PlayStation. Unfortunately, the only game that I have for it right now is Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six for the PlayStation. It's a it's a decent game. I mean, it'll keep you occupied for a couple hours until it gets really boring because the controls are just terrible. But uh, that's that's that game. Uh, the PlayStation's really cool. I do like it. Uh, down here under my two Wii Play discs, or Wii Sports discs. I don't know how I have two of those. We'll set those right there. I've got a PS2, and uh, I love this console. I'm pretty sure my dad had this one uh, when uh, I was little. Uh, 
but it is the one that's backwards compatible with the uh, PlayStation 1 game, so every PlayStation 1 game will be compatible with this. And it's the PS2 Slim, so it's a, it's a great little console. Underneath, I've got my um, soon-to-be garbage Xbox 360, because this one sounds like a jet when it's, uh, when it's turning on, and this thing, the disc tray, will not open on its own, so I need to use a screwdriver or whatever. I first need to pry off this, this front, uh, front panel so that I, you know, it's easier to open. And when I press this button half of the time, it doesn't even open on its own. And then I need a screwdriver or something to pry that open, so it's really annoying. And uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of fun. Under here, I got controllers. This one's, uh, this one has not been in good condition, so I just cut the cord off and turned it into some keychain. Uh, well, the cord part I turned into a keychain. This is just some decoration now. I've got a couple controllers. I think I've got three PS2 controllers. This one's a knockoff one. It works just fine. I've got two Xbox 360 controllers and a PS1 controller. Um, and moving on to the games, uh, I guess I have more um, Xbox 360 games out of everything here, but uh, so I guess let's start off with the games that don't actually have a real case to go with them. So I got Left 4 Dead, Modern Warfare 2, here's that game that I was telling you I found inside the Wii when I found that, so pretty cool. I got the actual COD 4, and that's, this game is a nightmare to play. COD 2, because why not? And a couple PC games that I really didn't have a place for. Um, I found these both at Goodwill. By the way, um, a lot of these were found at thrift stores or Goodwill. Now I guess the most exciting part, all of the Super Nintendo games that I have. Uh, I store my games alphabetical order, so starting off at the top and then going down. Um, uh, I've got you know, a decent selection of these. I Again, I hope to make this collection grow more. Uh, you know, I've got good games. F-Zero, Donkey Kong, Castlevania, Mega Man. Um, UN Squadron is one of my favorites on this. It's a lot of fun. Some N64 stuff over here. Donkey Kong 64. I've never heard of this game in my life, but I, I do not like it either. Uh, you know, I've got a few racing games, uh, NASCAR, Madden, uh, Doom, I, I am a huge fan of Doom, I am a huge Doom fan, so this is one of my favorites on the console, and I've got Mario Kart 64 in the back. Now I did actually check if the, all these were authentic, and they are, so that's kind of cool. And we'll just move these out of the way. Let me... Move this big stack of games, if I can, here. Just set these down, they might fall. Okay, there we go. Now, there's some Xbox 360 stuff in the back here. Um, original Xbox stuff up at the top here. Um, I don't have very many. I'm gonna, you know, uh, expand on this collection. So, yeah, I got, you know, random games like Conflict Desert Storm. It's pretty fun. Um, Halo is one of my all-time favorite franchises, so I'm happy to have the two um, first two games in complete, so they're actually in beautiful condition. Um, got some 360 stuff, two copies of Halo 4, because why not? Uh, moving up, uh, I've got a, got a decent selection of 360 games. Again, I hope to expand on this. Uh, over here, I've got, you know, here's a... Limited, I think this is the limited edition copy of Halo 3, but I, I, I forget I forget what the actual name of that was, but uh, I have that, so it's kind of cool. Uh, I've got some Wii games here. Again, found alongside the Wii that I found in the dumpster. Uh, one of these is a Value Village pickup, and I forget which one it is. Uh, these two copies of Wii Play, which one of them was found in the dumpster because it didn't have a... It didn't have a disc in it, so I went and bought another one. I think that's why I have two of them. Um, so those are my Wii games. Moving on to PlayStation 2. Um, this collection has definitely grown since, uh, you know, I 
I didn't really think much of the PlayStation 2 until I really started playing games on it. I think I started off playing Star Wars Battlefront 2, which is like one of my favorite games on this console. And then, you know, I expanded from there. And I recently picked up the three Grand Theft Auto games in the series, which are, these are amazing games, I love them. Uh, San Andreas being one of my favorites. And yeah, that's pretty much my PS2 collection. Uh, yeah, so I guess that's that's all the games that I have currently. I will, again, work on getting GameCube stuff because I don't have any games for that other than Fire Emblem. But I'm not a huge fan of those type of games. Turn-based games are not my favorite. Uh, yeah, and then I've got other stuff. Like this Nintendo 3DS case, which I do not have a 3DS to put in it, so I will uh, find one of those. And, yeah, so that's that's my whole collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And, uh, it's really nothing, nothing too special. I mean, I will expand on this at some point in the future. But, yeah, so thank you guys for watching.